Hi, I'm Zach with Josh's Frogs, and that's Austin. Hi, Austin. Today we'll show you how to make a background using the Josh's Frogs Vivarium Waterfall Background Kit. This kit is a good first step towards creating a beautiful vivarium with a cascading waterfall. It contains Great Stuff Spray Foam, Black Silicone, Coconut Fiber, Plastic Planter Baskets, a Water Pump, Vivarium Waterfall Tubing, Universal Rocks, Artificial Rock, Josh's Frogs Pod Wall, Substrate Divider, and False Bottom. In addition to these supplies, we're using more than one since it's such a big tank. We'll also be using some vivarium substrates, wood, and plants, all available at Josh's Frogs. Starting out, position your pump in place and attach to the vivarium waterfall tubing. You may wish to use a piece of PVC pipe, one and a quarter inch works well, as a way of getting the pump cord to the background without being permanently foamed into place. Position any wood, pots, and the fake rocks how you'd like them to appear, then foam them in place. The foam should be applied in thin layers. Allow several days for drying between foam applications. After the foam is dried, it's time to sculpt it with a knife. A serrated steak knife or bread knife works well. Hack away at the foam, exposing a roughly textured subsurface. Silicone will easily adhere to this surface. After the foam is trimmed and any waste pieces disposed of, it's time to apply silicone. Make sure to wear gloves and only use 100% silicone at Safe or Aquaria. Silicone sold at home improvement stores are typically not animal safe. Many contain arsenic as a mold inhibitor. Josh's Frogs carries 100% animal safe silicone on our website in black and clear. For background use, go with black silicone. Use a caulk gun, apply silicone to a small approximately 8 by 8 inch area. Then, while the silicone is still wet, press dry cocoa fiber or peat moss into it. Repeat until the entire background is covered. Allow to dry for several days until no silicone smell remains. Once everything is dried, it's time to add substrates and plant. Set up the pond wall foam to define your water feature, then fill the tank with substrate. The pond wall may need to be siliconed in place or held in place with wood or rock. Add in false bottom so it is one inch higher than your pump is tall, followed by substrate divider and ABG mix. Plant your plants. In this case, we're actually using a 55-gallon plant kit available on the site. Larger and vining plants should go towards the back, while lower-growing plants should be planted towards the front. Plant epiphytes on the background using a, a bag of ABG and the foam in net pots. For the water feature, plants such as Philodendron wendimbi or Pothos works great, as well as commonly available aquarium plants such as Ascryptocorn. Add some springtails and isopods and top off ABG with sphagnum moss and leaf litter. Mist the tank down well, then add RO or distilled water to the water section until the water covers your pump. Plug in a pump and you're good to go. For all of your bioactive and naturalistic vivarium needs, visit joshesfrogs.com today.